Let the deer hunting begin. This week, the Going Deer team tags five deer. I want to share those hunts and our strategies with you. Growing Deer is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Also by Reconics, Trophy Rock, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Winchester, Dead Down Wind, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Blood Sport Arrows, Flatwood Natives, Morel Targets, Caldwell, Hooks, Custom Calls, Montana Decoy, Summit Tree Stands, Drake Non-Typical Clothing, Howes Lubricator, Genesis No-Till Drill, Yamaha, Fourth Arrow, G5 Broadheads, Prime Bows, and Redneck Hunting Blinds. Pro staffers Heath and Lindsay Martin have been spending months preparing for a 2016 season. Like us, Heath and Lindsay believe in maximum scent reduction. They've been using dead downwind products to wash their clothes and store them until hunting season. Heath and Lindsay also spent some time setting up a new redneck ghillie blind and some hay bale blinds. They placed these blinds overlooking some hidey hole food plots. They planted these plots with eagle seeds, wheat, and clover. As it often happens, it didn't rain as the weatherman forecast and the plots didn't receive any rain until a couple of days before season opened. The plots germinated, but deer were still passing through the area going to a trophy rock station close by. Heath and Lindsay used that pattern picked up on the Reconyx camera and were still excited about their first hunt. The first morning in the ghillie blind, he spotted a doe slipping through fairly early but noticed her fawn was extremely immature and wisely opted to give that doe a pass. During the third morning season, Heath and Lindsay snuck back into the same blind. At first light, they had a couple of does slipping through the plot they'd recently planted. Heath's practice certainly paid off as that was a great shot. They opted to stay in the blind just in case a buck come through later in the morning. When you know it, later that morning, another doe came down the same path. But Heath is out of doe tags, so she got a pass. Well, here she is. This is our first deer of the 2016 Kansas season. It's been open for a couple days here with the early muzzleloader. That's why we're wearing orange. And uh, we've actually just got to set our new ghillie blind a couple times yesterday morning and this morning and had opportunities at does both days. And uh, yesterday we had one come by that had a small fawn, so I opted not to shoot her. But, this deer came right about 25 yards right after daylight this morning, so we went ahead and put a good shot on her. And she didn't go about 100 yards out through the woods there. Great way to start the season, got some fresh back strap for the freezer. During the next couple of mornings, they were able to hunt the same ghillie blind, but this time with Lindsay up the bat. Several deer came into the plot and even a flock of gobblers, but unfortunately, they weren't able to make anything happen. About 10 a.m. during the last morning of the hunt, another doe is coming to the plot. Since before daylight, we were actually just packing up. I'd actually. 
really taking off my release and everything. These ladies came in and poked their head out in the opening and gave me a shot. Um, we're going to give her a little bit of time and go out there and see if we can get her. Well, here she is. Um, Heath and I, after I shot, had a chance to take a look at the footage and realized that the entry hole was a little bit back, but we knew that it was likely a fatal shot because the arrow came out high on the shoulder on the opposite side. So we knew it was a good shot, but we still gave her about an hour before we started tracking. And um, she's probably gone about 175 yards or so from where the blind was. And um, it took us about 30, 45 minutes to track her down here, we were pretty cautious. Um, what is crazy is in that less than two hour time frame that she has been laying here, she's already had a predator after her that's ate her tail off back here. But nonetheless, she's a good looking doe. She's gonna make some great meat for the freezer. And I'm excited to get my 2016 archery season started. Congratulations to Team Martin on tagging a couple of early season does. Aaron Morgan and Jerry Bolden are a growing deer team that actually resides in Kansas. They were also out during the opening weekend. The deer season in Kansas opens with either a muzzleloader or archery, and Aaron's ready for both. Last night when we were hunting, we had a, it was a really nice deer, about a 140 class, 12 point, really nice deer, looks good. Um, hunting the other side of the farm uh, today, this afternoon, and I'm taking a bow and I'm taking a muzzle loader. That's gonna be about an 80 yard shot at my farthest. The night before, they had a tempting encounter with a nice 12 pointer. They're on the opposite side of the farm today and doubt they see the same buck. Aaron hunts a small farm that's mainly cropland with wooded edges. It was a warm evening in Kansas, but Aaron and Jerry both have high hopes of seeing deer. September the 18th, it's hot. We had a long walk in. As soon as we got in the stand, we had to spray down again, use like the washcloths again to get the sweat off and help get it sent down. But we've got a good steady wind today. Uh, this is a good spot. People say it all the time, but today, it, it really does feel good today. I have high hopes for this afternoon. It's only 40 right down to there. As the hunt progressed, they saw a few deer in the distance, even though it was early in the afternoon. The light fading fast, antlers appeared in the distance. It's a buck too. It's the 12. Do we have time? It's the same 12 pointer as yesterday, and Aaron reaches for the muzzleloader.
With the unusual reaction, Aaron believes he hit that buck a touch back. It's always a tough call, but based on the buck's reaction, they slid out and gave it ample time before returning. When they did return, the buck hadn't traveled that far from when they'd last seen it. Man, I'm so happy I found this deer. Uh, we came, I shot him back a little bit, and we got on blood, we followed him to the field edge. We could see with our flashlights that he was in here still alive. We caught, we caught movement in his eyes and stuff, and we could see that he was still alive and moving around. So we backed out, gave him some time, and came back in. Um, he had actually expired in this little heavy, thick stick stuff behind me. Uh, so we pulled him out, got him a little prettier before we did this. But uh, the last year I've tagged was the almost for my last day to be able to hunt in 2014. Last year I wasn't able to tag out, so to actually be able to get a buck on my first weekend out, man, it's it's a great feeling. I'm I'm so happy and thankful that I was able to take this deer. It's a good deer, I'm happy with them. I'm, I'm really thankful. Congratulations, Aaron and Jerry, for a fine opening weekend in Kansas. This past week, we had Keelan from Flatwood Nadies in town. Frequent watchers of Groin Deer will recognize Keelan from past episodes. He's helped us establish tree plots here in Missouri and in Florida. Keelan returned to the Proving Grounds because they also offer a service of treating invasive exotic plants. We've got a lot of Cerisa Lespedeza here at the Proving Grounds that they're starting to treat, and we'll give you an update on that project soon. When we were planning Keelan coming and helping us treat the Cerisa Lespedeza, I told him to pack his bow, because one of our management goals this fall was to remove a number of does from the Proving Grounds. When Keelan showed up, we just assumed a great place for him to hunt would be the tree plot, since he'd sweated in it two years ago, helping us plant those trees. The Growing Deer team, and especially me, are very fond of folks reaping the rewards of their hard work. And since Keelan had sweated hard planting those trees a couple years ago, I was really pulling for him to have a great hunt. We're sitting in the tree plot tonight. Uh, got a good southwest wind. They're hammering the beans out in front of us. Got a lot of good activity on the reconnaissance cameras. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I think we're going to have a good hunt tonight. Not long after Matt and Keelan got settled in the hay bale blind, they had some action. A few deer entered the plot and immediately started feeding. It's no surprise these does stayed in the shade given how warm it was that afternoon. Finally, one of those moved up to about 32 yards from the blind and gave Keelan a broadside shot.
smoked her about 30 yards. The mama's out there. Is she still right there? Have a doe out there. I don't know what's going on. Do you have another tag? Yeah. Take her. That doe also presented Keelan with a shot opportunity, so we drew back and we're one doe closer to meeting our management objective. First Missouri here, first, oh, first, first Missouri on. Yes, first Missouri on. Look at your cow in the tree block. Couldn't be better. That's awesome. This is awesome. Two years ago, I stood right behind me planting these trees and I looked up and I saw that cedar tree. And I thought that'd be a great place for a blind, and I expect somebody to kill something there one day. <laughs> Just did not expect it to be me. So, uh, appreciate everything you guys have done for us. Hey, absolutely. Uh, appreciate you, Matt, behind the camera, Tim, for helping us find them. Uh, it's been a great hunt, and I'm thrilled. Absolutely. The Growing Deer team's off to a great start during the 2016 season, and I'm thrilled that Keelan was the first hunter to tag a deer in our tree plot. We look forward to many more enjoyable hunts in that area. It's hot now, but many of us are already thinking about hunting during November. But let's not forget, it's time for our nation's presidential election. If you think you're going to be traveling during November, please do what I've done and apply for an absentee ballot. Voting is an American privilege, and it's something every hunter must do this year. Adam recently shared some tips for self-filmers, and I shared what I've learned about following deer after a shot. You can find this useful information and even more at the Clips tab at GrowingDeer.com. It's easy to get super busy during deer season and balancing family and work. But each day, let's all take time to enjoy creation and even more importantly, slow down and listen to what the creator is saying to us. Thanks for watching Growing Deer.